Hey guys, so I was asked the question um, to if I can make and show how to make a you know bucket farm bin. Um, so here it is. So stay tuned and see how I created this easy simple project um, made out of my chlorine buckets that I use for my swimming pool. And this is 25 um, liters or 25 kgs that I the amount of chlorine that was in here was 25 kgs so I just use this buckets and uh, yeah see how I do it all right so the first thing that you need to do is make sure that whatever bucket you are using clean it for instance I'm using chlorine buckets so I just make I must make sure that everything is properly cleaned because you don't want any chemicals to be in your worm farm because that can damage and hurt your worms. So thoroughly clean it, make sure that you clean everything and rinse it out well. Alright, so basically drill your hole. In, and that will be for the bottom piece where you put your tap on. Just make sure that it is nice and tight. Okay, so for this side, I've got a rubber seal. It will go in at the bottom. And it will go with the the nut and the washer. So the washer comes first, then the nut. And then you tighten it down. Alright, so that's nice and sealed. You can add some glue and stuff inside as well if you want to, but that should work, that's fine. Okay, so for the next part is really easy, is you're gonna drill holes at the bottom. This bucket is gonna fit into the other one. So, and then the top one will also have holes in, but the top one will have the lid of uh, the system but uh, I want to show you guys what I will do I'll drill some holes but I'm also going to drill some air holes um, at the top one for the others for the worms to breathe So by this little part, um, just using a Stanley knife, um, just cutting off that rough edges and then uh, you can also go and take some sanding paper and you can just sand it off nicely because you don't want that rough edges to be there because it might hurt the worms. And the same goes for the other bucket. So, as I said, there's a three bucket, so the bottom one doesn't have holes, the middle one will have holes, and then the top one will have holes. So with this one, I just roll it with a slightly smaller little bit, um, so that you don't lose half of your um, worms from the bottom. Alright, for this part, it's literally just drilling some air holes on the side so that they can breathe.
All right, and so for the last part, basically, of drilling holes is the top part. So you draw air holes at the bow, at the sides, and air holes at the top. clean this ones out properly What is just basically sanding. Of course, what you want to do is you want to get this as groovy as possible because of these little nets who will go on top. Even on the inside where all the holes are, make sure that you sand them down properly. So it makes enough groove so you can actually glue them and it will actually stick there. Okay, so basically what I will, will use is uh, some of this no more nails thingies and uh, will work 100% for me. I mean, you can use whatever glue that you've got. I mean, you just need to make sure that you get this thing st stuck to, to the place where you want it. So basically, let's just go over the hole. And there you go. And you just add some more on, just to stick it up. of this mesh up so I mean you can use whatever you want to it all depends on what you want to do but uh, this is what I've got and this is what I'll use So you've done all the holes, closed up all the holes in the bucket as well. And that will just be to prevent from any other pesticides and stuff just to don't want to creep in. Um, it will just help prevent that basically. So. Bucket with the finishing products of your mesh that you put on. Leave that outside in the sun because it sets much easier and it dries quicker, quicker. So yes. Okay, so got back into my workshop. After I was out in the sun for a while, so it's nice and dry. Um, basically, it's just you're just gonna drop that that in there. As you guys can see, I've got my air holes at the side. They will just help breathe top holes help with breathing you can close that up and sort it out and then finally you add your worms and your compost and your whatever you need to throw in from your kitchen you throw that in and there you go so I hope you guys enjoyed it Thank you guys for watching this video 
and uh, if it's, it was helpful for you tell me in the comment section below give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to this channel yet subscribe and see what out of my worm farm what type of things will I do with it um, to follow along and subscribe if you have not and uh, let's see and enjoy this journey together